There's been a proliferation of applications that we never even thought possible for the Phantom. So everything from archaeologists using this to fly over the Incan ruins so that they can more uh, accurately develop the land in Peru and not ruin their cultural heritage. Farmers who are using it for pre precision agriculture. Uh, real estate agents that just want a new perspective on the property that they're developing. Uh, you know, you could say you could develop individual products for each of those markets, but instead, why not create one system that everybody can use and then customize according to their individual applications? In terms of the altitude, it's basically the same. The communication distance is, uh, is 1,000 kilometers. And um, yeah, basically that's it. Think about drone as, um, you know, as the center of the internet of things in the air. It's like your Wi-Fi router. You know, it's like your router you know, at your home. It connects everything. So drone in the air itself, it can carry a lot of stuff, not just the camera for aero filming. It carries lots of different equipment. You know, it, can com it, it can be combined with Oculus or a Google Glass or any sort of a smart watch, you know, any kind of input or, or output devices. So um, I would say the potential of the drones is, hu is huge. inspections, you can take the intelligence from the camera immediately. Now that the battery is low, it still has another minute of flight time left, but it will land itself automatically. This product is changing the way people do uh, uh, journalism in Central America as much as the way people are fighting fires in Germany um, or uh, monitoring wildlife in Africa. So it's. Um, amazing uh, on, on an international scale, not just a local one. Fishing 的 drone technology, you know, is getting more and more well developed to make sure that the you know, drone doesn't crash. Um, you know, you know, 
in terms of the mechanical mistakes, you know, in, in terms of the, you know, the, the, uh, the obstacle avoidance, we, we really have to focus a lot on these technologies to make sure that people's normal life, they, they won't be affected by drones. I think that's a key.